G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, we are back with another one today. We are predicting the 2024 Bulldogs best 18 man squads. As you can see over here, we have a man, the myth, the legend, the fox, Josh Adokar. So let's pretty well jump straight in. Now you can probably see that there's definitely players missing from this list. Some players like Bulldogs fans, you guys can let me know if you think I've missed the mark on any of these. But uh, yeah, look, I think this is pretty close to what the Bulldogs squad will look like in 2024. Uh, obviously, trials could change a few things, but let's jump straight in and talk about this because there's a few changes here. All right, so fullback, uh, Stephen Crichton. Look, regardless of how well Blake Taft goes in the trials, I do believe Stephen Crichton will get the first uh, shot at fullback. If he does st sort of struggle after about five or six rounds, they definitely probably will look at the Blake Tap route, but I do think uh, Critter is going to get the uh, the first first choice fullback. Uh, the wingers, Adoka, 100% locked in. Blake Willis, Will, uh, Blake Wilson I had the Broncos play on my mind then, so so Blake Wilson I think will be the other winger because I think um, Kiraz will move into the centres with uh, Bronson Cherry. Shout out to Bronson Cherry as well, man. I can't wait to see him back in the NRL. The halves, again, relatively speak for themselves. Matt Burton, Toby Sexton in the halves. I have heard some people say maybe play Blake Taff at 5'8 and move Birdo into the centres, then Kiraz onto the wing. I disagree. I think Burton and Sexton are the only two options there. Obviously, there's other options, but I think they're the best options. All right, for the uh, for the front row, we've got uh, Max King, and I'm going with Ryan Sutton. I've seen a few people putting in Liam Knight there. Uh, I've seen a few people put Josh Curran in there, but I disagree. I think Ryan Sutton and Max King will be the best options there with Reed Marnie at dummy half. The second row is again realistically speak for themselves: William Kickout and uh, Jacob Preston, and then. The lock, I've seen people put Josh Curran. I've seen people put Ryan Sutton. I've seen people put Liam Knight, which I think is crazy. Uh, and then I've also seen people put um, Oluwapu there as well. Look, I think Oluwapu will be somewhere in the team. I've actually got him as my 14th man. Uh, I think Josh Curran will be the lock this year. I think it would be crazy not to have him in the starting 13. Uh, then obviously my bench, Carl Oluwapu, um, Patolo, Liam Knight, and uh, Salmon, I think will round out the bench with Blake Taft being the 18th man. I think Oluwapu has to be in the so in the side somewhere. Uh, Patolo, he, he was great towards the end of last year, I believe. I haven't really looked into him too much. Uh, you've obviously then got some of the um, fringe players that could get into this side. You've got... Um, Skelton, who I personally rate higher than Wilson, but I know Bulldogs fans will probably come at me about that. Um, outside of that, look, I don't really think there's going to be too many more changes to what I've listed here. Critter could move into the centres if things don't work out as stated before, but I do think he will be the fullback for 2024. I, I, I generally believe Blake Taft has gone from one reserve grade uh, club to another. Could be wrong, and I hope I am because I really do love Blake Taft. But I, I just I can't see him cracking into this squad. I can't. I've seen people naming him on the wing. I just I don't see it. I don't see it. He's either a fullback. He's, he can play in the halves. Hundred percent, he can play in the halves. He played a lot of halfback for uh, Rabbitohs juniors and stuff like that. So and uh, Rezies and stuff like that before. So look, he could play in the halves if needed, but. I honestly think you'll miss out on this squad. I really do. Let me know your opinions down below, guys. I know you will, and I hope you do. Um, also, if you could hit that like button and subscribe, really helps the growth of the channel. We're back every single day this week with a, another Teams at Best 18. So we've got 17 days of this. Cannot wait to provide every single one to you guys. So, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you.